This video is for anyone who uses GIMP to create thumbnails, social media graphics, or anything else graphics related. GIMP is a very powerful image editing software, but often you have to go through multiple filters and menus to create just one effect for your thumbnail or post. This video will show you how to make all of those effects in GIMP with just a few clicks using external filters. But first let's understand how to install it. First go to the edit menu, then click preferences, then go to the folder, then plugins. Then open that file in your file manager. Then go to two folders back until you see this folder called G, E, G, L, O, 4. Then open that folder. Now paste all the downloaded files into the G, E, G, L, O, 4 folder. Check the description to download these files. Now restart your GIMP. To use the external filters, first go to the tools menu, then click GEGL operation, then select GEGL effects, and now you can change the effect however you like. Here you can change the outline's color, opacity, radius, and blur, as well as the settings of many other effects. Another thing that it can do is create an inner glow, and you can also change its settings. Then we have gradient. You can use this to give your text an amazing gradient look. Then we have one of the most unique effects. It can give your text depth and make it look much more unique and appealing. Then we have drop shadows. It is one of the most commonly used effects in thumbnails and graphics. You can also change its opacity, color, direction, size, and radius to make it however you like. You can also combine it with other external jiggle filters to create a more unique effect. And just like that, you can do that to any image or text. Another thing I want to talk about is the ability to overlay images. All you have to do is add an image in the top image upload option and then it will overlay it onto your text or image. And also, I want to mention that you cannot change color through this filter if your text is black, so make sure that your text color is white before trying to change color through this filter. As you can see, not all effects have checkboxes to disable and enable the effect, so if you want to disable one particular effect, all you have to do is reduce the opacity of that particular effect to zero.